Wave those hands to him and just give him praise. Come on. He's a mind, mind, mind of God. Come on, let's go. Oh, Father, we bless you tonight. Stand amazing in your presence. Hey, there is morning. nothing you can well, not do. You for Jesus Christ. Have you received Christ in life? Stand amazing in your presence. You know? There is joy, peace, and hope. Oh, Sing with me, come on. You heard about Jesus Christ before? No one like no. you. You like to know about him? Jesus. You like to know about him? come for you when he came for me. He died on the cross of Calvary. You know me. And you don't want to know about him? You don't want to know about eternal life? He came that you may have life and have it more important. You know? He came for you. Anybody that receives him, you know, he's giving you guys the power to become sons of God. You know? He's not a regular guy. He's the son of God. He came for you and me. But anyway, God bless you guys, alright? What do you want, sir? Let, you like take a track for Jesus? No? Yeah. God bless you. God 
the eternal God, the one that created the heavens and the earth. He was in the earth, upon the earth, in the form, in the person of Jesus Christ, and the world knew him not. You know why we don't know him? Because we're living in darkness. The Bible says he's the light. Hallelujah. He's the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the light of this world. Without Christ, we have no light. Just like we need the sunlight to see in the day, and we need the moon to see at night, even when we go in our house, we have to turn on the light. We need the light. Jesus Christ is the way. Is the truth and the life. No man could go to the Father except by him. Say we talk about Jesus, God bless you, sir. Keep the courage in the Lord. He's the way. He's the way of all of your problem. He's the cure. Hallelujah. For what's going on in the world. Hallelujah. All we have to do is to receive the free gift that Jesus gave, came and laid his life down and gave to us. Hallelujah. It's free. Praise the name of the Lord. If somebody's given me a gift, I'm going to take it. It's free. And this gift is so precious that it's more valuable than silver and gold. The Bible said, what, what does it profit a man to gain the world and to lose his soul? You don't want to lose your soul. That's why we wear the mask. Protect ourselves from this virus thingy going on. Hallelujah. That's why we wear the mask, because nobody want to die. But the Bible tells me that it's accountable once for men to die. Everybody going to die. And then the judgment. But Jesus come to give you life. But Satan come to kill. He comes to steal and to destroy. He want to destroy your life. That's why he make you smoke marijuana. That's why he make you drink liquor. That's why he make you have sex out of, out of marriage. He come to destroy you. But Jesus Christ come that you may have life. Let me take a try. God bless you. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible said he is the way. You want to know the way to salvation? You want to know the way how to get to God? The Bible said no man have seen God at any time but the Son that was in the bosom of the Father. He has declared him. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ come to declare the Father. The Bible said whosoever see it the Son, see it the Father also. The Son cannot do nothing of himself except what he sees what the Father do. But he sees what God does. Like, heal the blind man, heal the cripple, give sight to the blind, open deaf ears, make the dumb speak. That's what Jesus does. Because God does not wish that any should perish, but also come to eternal life, and that life is only through Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. No other way. So God sent his son into the world, to give his life for you and me. The Bible said, the Lamb of God, who was slain from the foundation of the world. Yes, the Lamb of God was slain from the foundation of the world. Even before you were born and I was born, God sent his son to die for us. The Bible said, lo, he come in the valley of the book. It is written to do the, the Father's will. Praise the Lord. God bless you. He said, not my will, the Father's will be done, that will be done. And that should be our heart desire, that God's will be done. But you ask yourself a question, what is God's will? God's will is this, he does not wish that any should perish, but all should come to eternal life. That means this, to, to Jesus Christ. Keep encouraging the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. God give everybody a measure of faith to believe that he is. I don't care what the atheist says. I don't care what the Buddha says. I don't care what the Muslim says. There is no other way except through Jesus. Nobody gave their life upon the cross of Calvary but Jesus. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. I was lost. I was bound. I was heading straight to hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise the Lord. I was heading straight to hell. Because the wrath of God abide on anybody that is not found in Jesus. Jesus come to take away the sins of the world. He come to take away your sin, my sin, the entire world. 
The Bible said, whosoever believeth in him will not perish. Praise the Lord. Did you ever see Jesus? No? He's the way, sir. He's the way. You need a, you, you need a way. We're all looking for a way. You can't look to the government. You can't look to your movie star, your actors. You can't look to your, your sport players. They don't know the way. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man could go unto the Father except by him. Hallelujah. Nobody could go to God except through Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible said he came to save that which was lost. He came to save us. He came to save us from our sins. The Bible said we all have sinned. Everybody has sinned. There's no temptation that is coming unto man. But we all have sinned. The same devil that tempt you is the same devil that tempt me. But Jesus come to set the captives free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How does he set you free? Praise the Lord. Your mind is enslaved to sin. Our mind is enslaved to sin. That's why Jesus says, let this mind which is in Christ Jesus be in you. We must have the mind of Christ. We must be born again. And the Bible said, except we are born again, we cannot see nor enter into God's kingdom. We have to be born again. Not of the flesh. The flesh is going to die. It's going to go straight to the ground. Right to the dirt. But the spirit is going to go back to the God, the Father, who have gave it to, to you. God created man. Praise the Lord, sir. I want to tell you, Ellie. preach to them no matter what. Praise the Lord. These are the tribes in the wilderness. Praise the Lord. He's coming. Yes, sir. Yes, they sir. They need to listen. Yes, sir. Pay attention to the warnings. Praise the Lord. God bless you, sir. The Spirit of God is up on that guy right there. That's how you know the Spirit of God. Whosoever confess Jesus Christ has the Spirit of God. Whosoever does not confess Jesus Christ does not has the Spirit of God. Whosoever does not have the Son cannot have the Father. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the answer for the situation. He's the answer for the whole entire world. He came for us. Hallelujah. He came to set the captives free. We are enslaved to something. We are enslaved to sin. We are enslaved to the government. We are enslaved. You have to be a slave of something. You're either a slave of, this, of Satan or you're a slave of God. Hallelujah. We all are bound to something. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ come to set the captives free, to re remove the yoke. He said to take his yoke upon you. And learn of him. Many of us not learn about Jesus. Take the yoke of the Lord and learn about him. Praise the Lord. He said, take my yoke upon me, on you, and learn of him. Why? Because his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Many of us are carrying a burden of sin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sin is a burden. Praise the Lord. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. That's a burden to carry. Hallelujah. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, and that's through Jesus Christ. He's the way out of your problem. He's the way out of your situation. Why we don't know God? Because we don't search for him. We have to search for him like a hidden treasure. Hallelujah. And when you find that treasure, guess what you're going to do? You're going to sell everything and pursue God. Praise the Lord. I was glad when I heard the word of God, and I said, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I have seen enough in my life. I have seen enough turmoil and trials and tribulation. I've seen enough in my life. The brink of death, I have seen enough. I have seen enough. Hallelujah. So I gave my life to the Lord. And he transformed my life to serve him in no longer bondage to sin, but now I am a bondage to righteousness, to serve the Lord. It is God's good pleasure 
for us to inherit God's kingdom. But we have to be willing to receive what you have given to us, the free gift, Jesus Christ, the gift of salvation. Jesus Christ is the way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible said, walk in the light while you have the light. You need light to see. In this world, we have the sun for the light. But even though we have the sun for the light, we're still in darkness. That darkness that God is talking about is our sin. It's our sin. Hallelujah. It's our sin. The Bible said a light sprung up amongst them. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He's the light that you're looking for. He's what you're looking for. He's what your soul is thirsting and longing for. There's a hunger. Praise the Lord. There's a hunger inside of your soul. There's a hunger. There's a hunger inside of your soul. Sex cannot please that. Marijuana cannot please that. Cocaine cannot please that. Hallelujah. No drugs. Nothing can please it. That hunger, that hunger. You may please the flesh for a moment, but guess what? You're going to be craving for more again. That's why you have people overdosing, killing themselves. That's what the devil wants you to do. Kill yourself. The Bible said he comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came that we may have life today. And have life more abundantly. Today was not promised to you. Or not to me. But it's the goodness of the Lord that leads us to repentance. God's goodness. If we didn't have any trial in this life, we would not know God's goodness. Hallelujah. Turn your eyes upon the Lord. Turn your eyes to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He come to set the captives free. Jesus come to set the captives free. You want to set you free? You want to break the chain of bondage. There's a chain that's holding you, but you cannot see that chain. This chain is a spiritual chain that holds you bondage. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ come to break that chain. Praise the Lord. But many of us don't know that we are in, in prison. Yeah, we're walking around here. think we're free. But you're not free in your mind. Your mind is captive. It's held captive by sin. Your mind is held captive. That's why Jesus Christ came to, to set the captives free. Hallelujah. The Bible said, with the heart, men believe. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. The Bible said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. And I call upon the name of the Lord, and guess what? He saved me. How are we doing, sir? Would like to take a talk about Jesus? You know about Jesus Christ? Yeah? Praise the Lord. So give him glory, give him praise. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Turn your life to him. Turn your life to the Lord. Turn your life to the Lord today. Hallelujah. I want to just read something out of 1 Corinthians um, chapter 6, verse 9. The Bible says, Know ye not that the ungodly will not inherit God's kingdom. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. You know what effeminate is? These people will not inherit God's kingdom, nor are abuser of themselves with mankind. We know what that is. We got gay people. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunken, nor extortioner shall inherit God's kingdom. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, ye are sanctified, ye are justified in the name of the Lord and by the Spirit of our God. So God wanted to set us free from these things. Hallelujah. The Bible said he come to set the captives free. Praise the Lord. The Bible said you must be born again. You ask, how can it be born again? Hallelujah. When you receive Christ, you accept the salvation of Jesus and believe in your heart and confession is made, you'll be born again. 
The Bible said the wind blew it. Where it comes from and where it goes, nobody knows. That's the same way when a man or woman is born of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. The Bible said, be not ashamed of him. If any man is ashamed of Christ, he's going to be ashamed of you in the presence of his Father and the holy angels. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said, all that's in the world is the lust of the eyes. Yeah, 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 the lust of the eyes. We see stuff we want it. The lust of the flesh. Yeah, the flesh always craves stuff. And the pride of life. That's the worst one, the pride. God said he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Yeah, man, humble yourself under the hands of God, and he will exhort you. He resists the proud in heart, but he gives grace to the humble. I humble myself to God. Hallelujah. I bow my knees. I cry out to God. I said, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me from my sins. I need to be saved. I need to know who you are. Hallelujah. I cry out at my bedside, crying for God, crying for God day and night. Hallelujah. And the Lord heard my voice. And he delivered me out of my fear. Praise the Lord. He won't deliver you out of your fear. The fear of death. The Bible said, Oh grave, where is your sting? Oh death, where is your victory? But Jesus Christ defeated death and the grave. Took the key from that devil. Take the key from him. Hallelujah. Because of the fear of death. The Bible said to be absent from the body. You're going to be present with the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if, I, if you do not go to the Father, the Comforter will not come. Who is the Comforter? The Comforter is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the Comforter. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ died. They laid him in a tomb. Rose again on the third day. He showed himself to his disciple. He showed himself to many more people. Hallelujah. And he was lifted up from the earth. The angels saw him. The angels was there. Hallelujah. said, ye men of Galilee, why are you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus. Hallelujah. That you see that went up into heaven is going to come down in like, man, in like manner. But Jesus had to go to the Father to, to put the blood upon the mercy seat. Because when God see the blood, when he see the blood of his son Jesus Christ, the dead angel is going to pass over you. But if God don't see the blood of his, his son upon you, oh God, you, are, you, you will perish. The Bible said when he see the blood, he will pass over you. This is why he told the children of Israel, Kill the, 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 the calf. Kill the lamb. And put the blood upon the doorpost. He put the blood. Hallelujah. That's what the shadow of what to come. Praise the Lord. But this blood, we receive it by faith. We got to receive Christ by faith. The Bible said without faith, praise the Lord. It's impossible to please God. God give you faith. He give you a measure of faith. Have you received Christ yet? He's calling you out of your darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. John the Baptist was a voice that was crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Who do you come out here to see? A man dressed in, in, in good apparel? Or well, John the Baptist, he was clothed in some kind of a camel, camel clothes and a girdle around his waist. Hallelujah. The Pharisees came out to see him. Hallelujah. Our soul is hungry after God. Can't you see our soul is thirsting after the living God? What could satisfy the quenching of your soul? The woman at the well came to the well day after day after day. She comes to Jacob well drawing the water from the well. But she keep drawing the water from the well. Every day she comes to the well. Jacob's well, drawing the water. But guess who met her there? Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He had to go through Samaria. He had to go through that village. He had to go through that country. He had to go through that community. Jesus Christ is coming through. Praise the name of the Lord. And he asked the woman, give me the drink. The woman told Jesus, I said, no other Jew. We are Samaritan, bunch of Gentile people. We don't have no dealing with the Jewish people. But Jesus says, if you know who speak with you, you would ask of him for drink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Jesus Christ is sitting upon the well. He's upon the well. Hallelujah. He said, if you drink of this water, you're going to thirst again. But the water that I shall give unto you, you will never thirst again. Hallelujah. He said, it's going to be new. A fountain of life, springing up into eternal life. You want life? Jesus Christ is the way, man. He's alive. He gave you life to Christ, sir. You did? You're still living for Christ? How do you know that, man? How do you know that? You know, how do you know that? How do you know that? Look here. When you give your life to Christ, right? Okay. Your life has to change. You can't keep going the same way. You have to change. But if the things that you love to do and, and you cannot be delivered from it, you have to cry out to God. You have to cry out to Him. Go to your best. Life. Cry out to Him, man. Go in your closet. Cry out to Him. Nobody can save you out here. You know, so the, the, the chains that is up in our life that need to be broken. There's chains. There's chains in my life. I used to watch pornography. I used to drink. But those chains could not be broken. I don't care how much therapy and how, come, how, how many doctors you go through. They cannot. It's a spiritual chain, my brother. It's a spiritual chain. They need to be broken. And it's only the blood of Christ can do that for you. You know? So there's a change that has to be in your life. I want to pray for you. Come over here, man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord, what's your name, sir? Jesus. Jesus? Oh, God. Praise the Lord. Lord, I lift up my brother Jesus before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, you, you said you send your word. And your word heal them and bring them out of their situation, the Father. Hallelujah. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. Lord, God the Father was in the world. God was in Christ Jesus. Reconciling the world unto himself. Lord God. This man heard the word of God. This man heard the word of God. He heard the voice of God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, anointing of the spirit of the living God, I pray for deliverance in his life. Touch his mind, touch his life, touch his soul. Almighty God, the hunger that is in his soul for you, deliver him from the oppressor. Deliver him, Almighty God, from every addiction. Deliver him from every foul devil, every spirit. Lord God, that hold him captive. Lord God, this is your child, Almighty God. My God, I come against every spirit of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Touch his head from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. My God, I come against every powers of, of the wicked one. I come against every spiritual wickedness in high places. My God, break every chain today. My God, and set him free. My God, my God, my God, in the name of Jesus. Loose him, Holy Ghost. We give you praise, Lord. You said without faith it's impossible to please you. And he that coming unto you must believe that you are, Lord. He have faith in him, Lord. As small as a grain, as a mustard seed, he believed, Lord God. Strengthen him and deliver him. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord, brother. Yo, man, it's cold out here. But God, I'm, I'm going to still pray. I'm going to still give God the glory. You know, you are a child of God. You know, you're a child of God. You know, and he wants to bring you on. Get the word of God. If you have a phone, yes. bring up the app on your phone. Read the word of God. I do. You know, I do. if you have a Bible. I rip it out, man. I say, you know what, Lord, today I'm seeking you. You know? God bless you, brother, man. Be encouraged, man. All right, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, man, that's what we're here to do. Yes, praise God. Give God glory. Give God praise. Give God glory. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If I even come out here just for one soul, hallelujah, the Bible said... The angels rejoice in heaven over one soul that is set free from bondage. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Come to Jesus. He come to set you free. Come to the Lord today. Give your life to Jesus. Come to Him. Holy, He's the way. Holy Hallelujah. God, Many of us are born about our business. We what wake up this morning. This not He's a God praise to give Him glory and Hallelujah. The maker of all universe. But God said he's ready to put the job. He's the one job. Hallelujah. He's ready to put the job. He's the one and he's ready to put the job. That's a lot of work. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God Almighty. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus today. Give God your life today. Give God your life today. Give God your life today. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 What a privilege. He's a privilege to worship you. Make a bit of all you need.